Frank and Mart solo gup go. Put that one on the front of the table, huh? Over there. I'm gonna do them all like that and then people in this grab slides. I'm gonna give the kids theirs. There it is, a special mark solo gup cut. Watermelon. Here we are, 4th of July at Baldini's, waiting for some fireworks. There's a Baldini sign in the background, don't know if you can see it. And then, there it is, Marvel's Watermelon. And, there he is. Mm-hmm. What am I supposed to do? Put it on the table. There it is. Bruce. <laughs> Blaming on Bruce. All the watermelon you can enjoy. Compliments Marvel Solo God. And Bubba. I got some I got some right here. Give me a bunch of uh, owls, please. Marvel's become a cybernetic organism as of late, as you can see. He's gonna finish cleaning off that watermelon knife. Well done, Mark Sillagub. Thank you there, Mr. Nelson. And we see the background, Mark's mother. Mark's mother, Mark's mother. I'm panning into her right now. <laughs> and there's Mark, the Marvel Sillagub. Happy birthday, America. That's right. You deserve it. It's true. Excuse me. Happy birthday, America. That's right. Straight from Mark Sologub's mouth. Where's mine? Guys, this is the Marvel Mark Sologub in the flesh. The main man himself. The mask Marvel. In the, person. Sorry. The mask Marvel. I don't have my mask on, but you know, I actually <laughs> should get rid of my eyes. They're not really good to see. <laughs> so you can't see him and know him unless you actually know him. That's the mystery behind the Mark Solo God. I would like to give each one of you girls and boys out in TV land, I would love for you to have some of my watermelon. Yeah. So, next year, 2016, go ahead and text me and I'll buy watermelon for everybody that shows up. How's that? That's what I'm talking about, yeah. You're gonna have to come down to Reno, live in Reno, Reno, Nevada. Otherwise, you'll miss it. Because that's where we're from. But anyways, uh, this is Mark the Marvel Sologub himself. Oh, yeah, he wants to show the American flag right there. Oh, there we go. We got one, two, and the bigger one up there, number three. Anyways, this is Mark, the guy I've showed my website to. And we've had some great discussions. I like to interview him right now. Anyways. So Mark, what do you think about my website? Is it crazy? Is it a little bit out there? What do you think? I think it is different from the normal people's common society way to think. But, um, that doesn't mean that people shouldn't be interested in learning further in something that they might understand great and something that they might not understand maybe even better to expand your mind a little bit and to um, gain a little bit of extra knowledge in something that you may not know anything about if you look at Bruce's website he definitely has some stuff that would be different from the normal population, but something that is very interesting to probably most if they actually got into it and um, found out what it's all about. It's very interesting, very interesting. See, there you go. This Mark Marvel solo gub, he's got an open mind, unlike a lot of people, which I'm grateful for it, so. But uh, yeah, listen to Mark, he's got an open mind. Out of all the populace, that's going to benefit me, so I like it. And uh, I do have him posted on my website as Hagoth. He's the guy that built some ships and he took off. We don't know where. People think he took off to the Polynesian Islands. Who knows? I got him posted on there as Hagoth. Now, I'm about 100% about certain this is Hagoth. Now, was he? Now, the only way you can know it is through Revelation. That's what I tell people. Revelation. 
retire to meditation, ask God or the immensity of space, and you can know. Was he Hagoth? If so, that's his resume. He's that guy. So, um, very interesting, curious man. Right now, he works at a metal shop. He loves it. He loves building stuff. He loves uh, making metals. And I'll tell you what, it's a pretty fun place to work. I don't mind it myself. I worked there well, a little bit with him for a couple months. Bruce was one of our mill hands. He worked at the steel mill. And a grinder. And, uh, got to see what uh, playing with heavy metal is all about. <laughs> heavy best metal in the world. Heavy metal, the best alloys for aircrafts and stuff like that. Working at VDM Metals. And remember, I also work in the grind shop. I work mostly in the grind shop and a little bit in the mill. Well, when I say mill hand, I mean anywhere near the mill. In the whole building. I feel you. You know, because we do have actually mill hands that run on a mill, but you know, our whole facility is called a steel mill, so everybody is a mill hand. <laughs> and Mark and I have had long conversations about the metaphysical. Yes, sir. And uh, you know he can hang. That's where I have my doctorate in yeah. is metaphysics. He can hang, and I'll tell you what, most people aren't even comfortable with about half the stuff we talk about because they just don't get it, and they think, it, they think it's silly. But Mark is a different man. He's a different animal, different creature. So, so uh, is Bruce. Nobody can understand me usually, <laughs> but he can. <laughs> so there he is in the flesh. I got to post this on Facebook or YouTube or something like that. Let you know who Marvel is. He's the real deal. By the way, Marvel and I are going to take over the world. It's not a joke. It's going to happen, right? One movie at a time, right, Mark? See what? If that's, if that's what's to be, so let it be said. So let it be written, so let it be done. Yeah, two or three years from now, that's the good hope. Mark will start to reverse age as we train to do some awesome stuff and hopefully hit the big screen, right, Mark? Big screen TV show, who knows? Something big with Mark. When you see me control lightning, then you know. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> this guy, he's gonna be like Zeus, frying lightning from heaven down on all the unbelievers. It'll be lightning hot. I'll tell you that much. See, at least he's got the faith. Most people think it's crazy. Look, if Mark does it in this life, don't count him out, man. And and if I witness it, that'll be one heck of a show, wouldn't it? Yes, sir, Bruce. I hope you're there. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to... Signing off. Yeah, we're signing off here. I'm going to pan around here, look at Baldini's Coast Casino. We're waiting for some fireworks. Fireworks at Baldini's Casino. Baldini's Casino. And signing off is Mark Sologub and... Bruce Nelson. Bruce Nelson. I <laughs> almost... Here it is, Mark, the Marble Solo God, and his cybernetic arm flying a an American flag. I got one too here. See? There we go. I'm really glad you uh, came out, Bruce. <laughs> well, it was fun, man. Oh man, you missed the, some great dirt bike jumps. They were fabulous. <laughs> here it is. Yeah. That's good. You got everything written down. I'm having a light. It was nice meeting you. There's the hilt in the background. Yeah. And then the camouflage man. From the moon. Next to me is Marvel Solo Gub. Marvel Solo Gub. 
and we're headed back from those fireworks. Look at it now, in between the two buildings, Bubba. That's it. 